tonight. Professor George Obiozo is our guest on the program. Thank you so much, Prof, for joining us tonight. Um, Happy New Year might be in order. Uh, let's begin the conversation. I'd like to get your, uh, your take on the girl of declaration that we're seeing um, recently. A lot of people who have thrown their hat in the ring have made their intentions public. Uh, as a leader of Oanese, uh, a, a socio-cultural and political group in the Southeast region, what comes to mind when we talk about presidential race? De definitely, um, the idea of a president of Nigeria from Igbo land is an idea whose time has come. It is uh, politically and morally justifiable uh, as, as a matter of fact, it is important in, in a, uh, that at, at this time in the history of Nigeria, we will take reasonable decisions in order to heal the nation, give every part of the country a sense of belonging, stop the bickering, and reunite the country, and reinvigorate the spirit of nationalism in Nigeria. That's what uh, a president from Southeast will give in Nigeria. Uh, and uh, to be candid, we in Igbo land are also ready to give you ca candidates, candidates and, uh, and presidential aspirants that are competent, nationalistic, with the capacity to perform and with evidence of what they have done and what they can do for the rest of the country. Indeed, indeed, we are ready, and all we're asking the nation is to obey the historical law of rotation in our history, which has been north and south, which created the balance political balance that held our country together. That's very important, and that's what I would uh, like to say so far. All right. When you say mora, you, you drew the inference of morality, and of course you, you talked about fairness. Uh, in terms of the political calculations, uh, how did you get to that point where you think uh, an Igbo presidency in 2023 is morally and uh, fairly justified. Yes. Uh, even if you take yourself, yeah, in fact, you are one of the most brilliant journalists in Nigeria. Even if you take yourself to do the statistics, you will give it to the Igbos without hesitation. You will look at the the creation of tests in Nigeria, all over the country, other, other states have, uh, other zones have uh, either six or, or one or seven. We have five for how many years now? That is also affects the, uh, affecting how many local governments in Igbo land, how many uh, indeed senators, how many members, in other words, if you look at the Nigeria political calculation, it designed in such a way so far that we are last in everything. And we are also going to be last in all the zones in taking the presidency. So that's what I mean. But that by history, by logic, by morality and politics, it is justified and it's time for the Southeast to produce president for Nigeria. I'm very sure, Prof, you may have heard people who have criticized uh, the Southeast uh, politicians of the inability to organize or come together uh, to be in unison when it comes to uh, having a common front in such a matter as uh, uh, the presidency of the nation. 
Do you have a strategy as a people, Please, uh, as a region, I I on the way to go? I because I you say it is fair, it is morally justified. But as a, as a people, before you are being uh, recognized or respected or given a chance uh, to fly uh, your agenda, you must have a strategy going forward. Do you have one? But, uh, uh, do you want us to tell you our strategy now on the television? How, which strategy did others present before they were uh, considered the presidency of Nigeria? Put, name any zone that presented their strategy to you on the television before they were the produced presidents. And then the whole idea that they, are, they should be united. Which, which people were united before they got the presidency? The Southwest? <laughs> you know how, how united they were when Obasanjo, uh, my, my boss, was produced. What of uh, uh, pres the present present? Is this the whole idea of accusing Igbos of not united well, uh, uh, is a, a gimmick and the fact frivolous uh, criticism because uh, people uh, who are very universal and individualistic cannot be controlled like cattle. So Igbos, Igbos have their strategy. When they find what they want, they unite. But wherever they are, their, th their mind is set on the I issue of concept of justice, equity, and fairness. In fact, the charity for all, malice towards none. That's the Igbo spirit. So the issue of uh, every time they are united or not united, it doesn't bother us. We are united enough to produce a president of Nigeria, just as others were united. Because all this is a question of uh, what, why must we show you how united we are? <laughs> Who, which is the section of mean, You, you said united. that you will present candidates uh, that are Definitely. Uh, to Nigerians. Uh, can you tell us, Prof, Rock those Sally, whom yes. you have interacted with and perhaps some of the good names that yes. Nigerians uh, might be going uh, away with tonight listening to you that can give them that confidence. They, yeah. for example, uh, they are hoping to support an Igbo presidency for 2023. And there are people who have, you know, have consulted with you or with or Anese in the Igbo, or there are people that uh, the region is considering as their own true sons that will give them a good outing. To tell you the truth and to tell you how democratic Igbo land is, we would uh, have our candidates emerge from their parties, just like every other place. We don't uh, select a, a candidate, but whatever happens, the, anybody that will emerge from Igbo land will be capable of leading Nigeria safely and leading it nationalistically without prejudice to any side, without practicing selective morality, double standard and outrageous paradox. This country needs a, a sense of balance, a sense of nationalism. The country is receding from nationalism into some national consciousness. We need somebody to re-energize re and revigorate the national spirit that Nigeria was known for. So, uh, I mean, before I drop the matter on uh, the 2023 presidency, are you confident yeah. in your mind? Uh, perhaps uh, I, I wanted to know just how confident you are uh, about the possibility of an Igbo president. Do you see it coming? Or is something that you me, don't I, imagine I, I, would I'm, happen? Do, do you see it as something that would definitely happen in 2023? Let, let me tell you something. Uh, you, I can't predict such a thing. I'm not God. A man proposes, God disposes. But with all logical conclusions, the president should come from Igbo land, southeast zone, by merit, by history, by logic, by reason. In fact, it is time that we take 
have a sense of balance in the country. You, are, you have to be able to see, say to yourself, why should every other zone have it? And now they want to get a second round without even having, having even one round. You see, do you, in your seat there, consider such a thing morally acceptable? Do you think as a Nigerian that the, those who are confronted with such discrimination will be wonderful patriots? We, we have to be careful in this country because we are dealing with a delicate balance. And the delicate notions like ours, multinational as we are, very sensitive things happen to multinational countries in the world. So that's why the sense of balance is extremely important. Every group, every zone, the other five zones in the country have had their own share of the presidency of Nigeria. Now the second round of it is about to begin. And you are denying Igbos a chance of having once before you begin the second round. Such outrageous behavior is politically uh, unacceptable and indeed morally prohibitive. And indeed, right. so no some people will, 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 that, will, will, that, will argue no, that hold on, hold on. the no. issue of the rotation or merits that matters. But let, let me yes. just uh, uh, let's let, let's wrap up on this issue of the 2023 presidency on this note. I no like problem. to know: Are you thinking or working on a handshake across the region, uh, perhaps to the north, definitely, or to some other part of the south? Um, to achieve this all of presidency that you are talking about. Is there any kind of uh, accord that you are entering into or a handshake that you are uh, trying to work on? To uh, you working with any region, for example, the north? Are you working with them to achieve this aim? If you, if, if you must know, you cannot get the presidency of Nigeria by sitting in one place. What, no one zone can elect themselves uh, uh, or elect itself president. You have to reach to others. For example, we come from the South. We are, according to the historical events in Nigerian history, which made it that there is even a natural zoning of North and South rotation throughout the history of Nigeria. Anybody who jokes with it, jokes with the destiny of Nigeria. It, and uh, if it, that happens that way, uh, that uh, uh, as it ought to happen, then we, there will be a south, and there will be zoned this into the south, and then the south will have to uh, continue the politics of it. So, but as for reaching everybody, definitely the southeast is going to reach all parts of Nigeria, all the nooks and crannies in campaigning for a president from Igbo land. We, no, no doubt about that. And we are doing already making some efforts towards that. Okay, so let me quickly take you to the issue of uh, uh, the consultation that some of the ego leaders ma uh, made with uh, President Buhari and uh, the possible concentration uh, on the leader of uh, the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu and uh, the response of the president about uh, his case in court. I'd like to get your reaction as a leader of Anese in Bigbo to that stance. We, we in the Igbo land have clearly made it categorically clear too that we prefer a political solution to it, a dialogue to end it. It is the clear to the rest of Nigerians, and we have repeated it, that the Igbo nation is not at war with Nigeria. Therefore, what is happening can be handled, I would use the word, political solution is the answer. Dialogue is the answer, just as in other sections of Nigeria. Some areas of Nigeria, people who, uh, who behave like Carlo, have been forgiven, given amnesty, reintegrated in the country. So also uh, is what we're asking for. Mr. President's 
use prerogative of uh, mercy to look into the situation in the Southeast. Prerogative of mercy is exclusively the right of the president. We are not talking about court. We are not talking about use of force. Use of force is dangerous to everybody and it definitely will, solve, will not solve the problem. It will make it worse. That is what we are talking. So is that what you are asking for now, prerogative of mercy, or is that the next strategy, or your next move? Just understand it as you like. So tell us so that we can be clear, we can clearly understand so that no, there's no I, ambiguity in what you're no, telling no, us tonight. There is, what is no, the no, next move there is no for the Igbo leaders there, on this matter? There's no, there, there, there's no ambiguity at all. When Mr. President visited Igbo land, we made, we made the same statement several times. I have, as president of Ahaneze, including last week, made similar statements concerning uh, uh, the Nando Carlo and the IPOP. And I have made the reference that you are totally aware of. Because, Sean, you are one of our best and brightest. You are not even new to Nigerian politics. You saw South South uh, uh, Avengers, the Niger. Uh, 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 men there and the rest, how the matter was solved. You saw how even in the present Boko Haram, those who said they're repenting, how they're being rehabilitated. You understand, the problem of federalism is that the sensitivity is very much on the surface. You, if you don't do one as you have done to others, you have problem. That's what I mean by precarious balance which must be maintained by any leadership in a, a, a country like Nigeria. So I, I'm, I, it's not anything strange. It is actually honorable demand to ask our president that the Southeast tension can be lowered and it can even be controlled if Mr. President assists us through the prerogative of mercy or uh, any other way of, uh, of what we're asking, amnesty for those young men. So is there a possibility of uh, thinking of meeting the president again? Is that in the books? Is that in, uh, on the table now? In fact, as good citizens of Nigeria, we would love to meet the president. He's our president, and uh, it is very, very important uh, uh, an, an honor to meet the president. So let's look into the security situation in the southeast region of the country. Um, is there an understanding Wonderful. of the root cause yeah. or the, the reasons why in the fact, agitation, what, uh, uh, the underlining factor for some of the agitation and insecurity in the southeast? There is uh, indeed, by the way, let me be frank with you, uh, Sean. Do you know that uh, until this election fever started, Southeast was the most peaceful part of Nigeria? Did you believe that? Or did you see that? And with the fever for politics, all kinds of hell broke out. Uh, broke loose and broke out in the southeast. Uh, indeed, we, as of now, uh, at, uh, at one time, when you analyze it, you, you, t you, you believe, or you are very much inclined to believe that it was orchestrated. And uh, it was politically inspired or orchestrated. And uh, today, in some parts of uh, the southeast, uh, something uh, that is developing, which is not good, like police do investigations, as in, uh, as presently in Imo, and it, the result of the investigation of arrested criminals with guns and things will be delayed, or or delayed f for such a long time that 
the perpetrators seem to have been actually uh, 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 treated with glove, uh, uh, gloves in the hand. So the issue is that there are many things that make uh, that, that are suspicious about insecurity in the Southeast. But what is not in doubt for me is that it's the politically inspired. But how do you then resolve so it permanently? Is Ebibago going to help permanently put an end to it? Or what measure uh, in your mind do you think will help put a, uh, give a permanent solution to the insecurity? Uh, uh, the, the, in the, 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 the fact that the problem of security had been described, uh, uh, studied, and con con concluded by 2014 National Conference that recommended state police. Let me be frank with you. State police is not a luxury. A, a country as complex as Nigeria cannot be policed by one unit police system. You understand what I'm saying? The truth is that other nations similar to Nigeria, you have state police, even you have county police, and so on and so forth. Until we reach there, our security problem can will never be solved. So, you, you, I, I know that many people are arguing against uh, state police or even the municipal police, but it was inevitable it will come in order to maintain peace and security in Nigeria. It's a matter of time. Professor George Obioza, President General of Ohaneze in the Igbo. Thank you so much for talking to us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sean.